Hey my babes and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly, also known as Mbali. Thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time here, please do know that you are able to subscribe to my channel and it is free. I would really love if you can join our family. But if you are a returning subscriber and you've been around with me and you have stuck with the family, I really appreciate you guys and thank you so much for staying tuned to this channel. So today I'm going to have a bit of a chit chat, get ready with me. I think I'm just ready to like sit down and chat and kind of vent about a couple of things that I've been going on. On. We'll let you guys know where I'm at in terms of content creation, in terms of my life. I'm gonna go off camera, um, put on my gown because it is cold, child. I'm gonna go off camera, put on my gown, do my eyebrows and maybe my eyes, and then I'll come back and then we'll get into the chat. Okay, guys, I'm back and I'm wearing my night gown. Please forgive me. I've already showered and we've had a day, and I'm having some tea here on the side. This is a honey and ginger tea. I, think I mentioned it in the last vlog that I had. Anyway, let's start at the beginning guys. So all the products that I'm going to be using are going to be listed in the description box below. If I didn't mention something and you want to know what I use for a specific step, um, you can also just comment in the comment section down below and I will get back to you and I'll let you know what's up. My brows are under done, are half done. <laughs> As you guys know, I don't do the beginning of my brow immediately. I do it after I've settled everything. But yeah, that's that's me for now. But yeah, first things first, guys, like, uh, I guess I just want to talk about YouTube and how things have been going with YouTube and all of that. And personally for me, I think I've, I've been doing better than what I expected. Of course, I still have an absolutely long way to go. I know there's a whole thing of, you know, giving people the content that they want and the content that they deserve. And I, I completely get it and I want to do that. But at the same time, I also want to produce content that I really enjoy and things that I really like. I, th I think that's been like a tough, a tough situation for me um, where I know I am very into beauty. I'm into makeup. I really enjoy makeup. There are other couple of things that I enjoy that I'm planning on bringing onto the channel. But it's just been like a challenge in terms of I know makeup tutorials aren't doing well on YouTube and that is kind of what I enjoy doing so it's it's been like a challenge trying to strike a balance between what is consumed and what gets you numbers and what gets you growing versus what I enjoy so I need to get creative and I know that that's where that's basically what sets you apart from everyone else where are you able to keep the things that you really want to keep doing and maybe doing it in a different way, presenting it in a different way um, that gets people engaged? And then also, how far are you willing to go to kind of, I almost said betray, but betray is the wrong word to use, but how far are you willing to go to kind of sacrifice what you enjoy and what you really love to get numbers, you know? Because... I've been in YouTube for quite a while. I haven't been consistent. This is my absolutely first time ever that I've been this consistent on YouTube. And obviously YouTube has an algorithm and all of that. So I can't really um, be on the on some type of fence and be like, oh, I should have been this far. I should have been that far. But like if I have an honest conversation with myself, I can be like, actually, babes, actually, you've been here the entire time. You haven't been consistent what exactly can you expect for that amount of time you know like is it fair for my audience to be choosing me over another youtuber yeah like i'm excited about the future i do get a bit frustrated sometimes i do get fixated on numbers sometimes i am making mistakes like that but at the same time i'm, I'm not losing sight of the bigger picture which i'm really grateful for i can't compare myself to anyone and like it's very challenging because you end up wanting to compare yourself to so many people and you end up wanting to be better do better and you try and do it at the expense of your mental health at the expense of you in a sense and i just think that that's not worth it um it's really really not worth it for me i have a very demanding job that i'm working and i'm actually starting a new job soon sometimes i really want to push myself to the limits like already now being consistent like it looks easy and it looks cute or whatever but it is coming at a cost it's a price that i have to pay um i guess everyone just has to decide whether the price is worth paying like currently i know we're in lockdown so it's kind of it, it works out perfectly for me but on weekends i don't do anything i literally just do content creation on weekends that's all i have time for i maybe go out with my boyfriend and we go have breakfast or whatever but mainly my time 
is focused on YouTube, on creating content and things like that. And I mean, that's the price that I have to pay. That's the sacrifice I have to make in order to kind of get ahead with with YouTube and content creation and influencing and all of that. So yeah, that's where I've been at really with YouTube and I'm really, really trying to push guys. I'm really, really trying to push. Yeah, that's YouTube guys. And like Instagram is not much different from it. Um, I have been struggling a bit there, but the difference between YouTube and Instagram, actually not even a difference, but like between YouTube and Instagram, I know exactly what it is that I need to do in order to grow and in order to get the numbers and all of that. I am just not being consistent in doing it and if anything I can just go back to the drawing board and review and see how far I've come how far I long to go and if everything is working out according to plan I guess but other than that like in life in general I think I've been doing okay there have been challenges there have been challenges a lot of challenges i'm not gonna lie like i said i'm starting a new job and i'm really looking forward to it but yeah it's it's kind of the same within the same industry and whatever the same kind of it's not like my my dream or ideal job but i'm just happy for the fact that it is more suited to my personality and more suited to where i want to go it's more in leadership now so I'm gonna have people that are basically reporting to me which is really cool um really cool in the sense that i feel like that's what i was born for and that's what i'm built for um but we'll see where it goes funny thing about this job like it literally came out of nowhere like i was applying 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 you know when you apply for jobs and you you literally don't get any answer you don't get any feedback um but this i was basically headhunted for this role and i remember waking up the monday and i called my mom and i was like to my mom like with no information at all i'm like listen please pray today um i'm expecting something i'm expecting god to work today i'm expecting something out of god's hand today god is going to do something today not today this week i not having any context or anything and my mom loves context that lady loves context she had no context or anything and she also agreed she's like don't worry kimmy we're praying and that was the monday and i i promise you the same day i get a call about this job and i'm just like okay cute this job is this job sounds nice but like not really qualified for it but okay fine let's see you know where this goes and how it goes and everything and I was so taken aback and I was like, literally, I just spoke about this this morning. Yeah, God is doing something. Like, literally, without me knowing about anything, I literally just spoke in faith and I said, pray with me. God is going to do something amazing this week. And within a couple of weeks, like, I went for the interview. God made it all happen. And I was like, thank you, Lord, first of all, for coming through in such a massive way. I didn't expect like I literally literally didn't expect it thank you so much for coming through in such a massive way and thank you for coming through at the time that you did because you know sometimes you ask God a lot and we're like oh um, Lord do this do this now do that now and one thing I've learned over the years and I always like to say this is you can't guilt trip God into a blessing you align with your plans and I think the absolute best thing that you can do is to just give everything over to God and say okay Lord yeah I am this is my situation what would you have me do you know and I know like it's it's very cute to say it and it's not nice when you're in a situation where you really aren't happy like you're literally dragging your feet every single day and I, I just want to like tell you guys if you are in a situation where you are unhappy in your job you're unhappy rather don't complain about it because um i've been working the job that i worked for like three years and out of the three years i spent bulk of my time just complaining and being in such a negative space about it instead of just thanking god for it and saying okay lord what would you want me to learn here what is the valuable lesson and the takeaway that I'm that I'm taking from my time here, you know, and I think my mindset and the way I asked for things, the way I prayed, everything just changed when I made the decision to no longer be negative, to no longer wallow in my oh my gosh, it's not happening for me. What is gonna happen now? I feel like I should have been 
further in my life and in my career why is this like you know those kind of ugh, i'm wallowing in my pain or whatever the minute you step out of that i don't want to lie to you the minute you step out of that that is the minute that you start being free and i i literally experienced that freedom and i was so happy and i was like you know what I need to continue with this. I need to continuously just be grateful for where I am and what I'm what I'm learning. And I mean, in my previous jobs, I wasn't necessarily happy either. Always made sure that I brought my A game like to the point where when I left the job, people was like, "If you ever want to come back, our door is always open." That's literally how I left at my previous jobs. In those jobs, and I'm I'm so bummed at myself for forgetting this. That the way that I actually made it in those um, jobs was that i was like let me see what i'm gonna learn here and every time i did that like things just went well for me like mentally things just went well because i remember my first job i was straight out of university and i worked for the provincial treasury and i was just unhappy there and at the end of the day i was like you know what this is your first job it's hectic yes but what can you learn here and I ended up learning so many valuable lessons in that job because it was like my initial job and my initial introduction into co not necessarily corporate but into the working world. So it was like just perfect because it's like you're working a job, you're getting paid a really great salary. One thing about Gov, getting paid a really great salary and you're not doing much for it. Like if anything, learn something, you know. And like I said, I'm really bummed that in my current job that i'm still at right now i didn't see it sooner it only came later in my journey that, that i actually reminded myself yo 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 that what you are learning here whether it's an interpersonal skill whether it's working with people whether it's observing people and knowing different types of people to work with a diverse group of people to work with whatever it is even if it's not something that you can jot down on your cv take that with you learn that lesson to the fullest and make sure that you carry it in your arsenal for your next job for your next career or even for life in general i think all in all i'm just grateful to god for making a way and showing himself mighty and strong to me because yo guys the thing is about such experiences in life or any experience in life that's not like a positive or i'm not gonna say it's not a positive it does it's not received by us as a positive one thing about such situations it will test your faith to the limit like yo it can literally take your focus off of what is important take your focus off of god and all of that and i think that's one thing that i've just been asking the lord is for me to have my focus on him in such a way where i am not swayed by my momentary or my instant um experiences you know um i wanted to also not have my prayer life be dictated by my needs at a particular point where this experience is so painful that whenever i open my mouth and pray instead of singing god's praises i'm constantly praying oh make a way make a way oh lord this lord that um there's i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but i just wanted to have a prayer life that was more geared towards worshiping god for who he is like having a prayer life that is an extension of my worship you know and not a prayer life that is me seeking god's hand all the time but more a prayer life that seeks god's face you know anyway sorry you guys i needed to go off camera just to make sure that i stick my under eye yeah that's that's that and another topic that i think comes up quite often when is the topic of friendships and relationships you know the reason why it's such a topic that is constantly brought up and constantly visited and revisited is cause of the fact that the people that you invite into your life and the people that you choose to be friends and companions, they have a massive, massive impact on the person that you are, the person that you become and how your life is basically led. Like you can try all you like and be like, yeah, my life is not controlled by anything. But like those kind of choices and who you bring into your life ultimately has an effect. Why do I look so light? On the topic of friendships, I've really been blessed with like a group of ladies that are 
really really genuine people know that at any time i will confront and i will be open and i'll be like okay this is what's up i think as much as people give me the liberty to be able to express myself and be open and be the confrontational person that i am and know that i don't have to hold back i also have a responsibility to kind of care for their feelings and i do fail at that sometimes i really really do and it's something that i am continuously working on just to be aware you know because the problem with being the one that is confrontational and the one that doesn't hold back and the one that speaks is that you would find they are the ones that just want to avoid conflict altogether and they will just say yes and give you your way and no one grows in that kind of situation you don't grow they don't grow no one grows you know you really have to be really attentive you really have to be attentive as a friend um, as an individual and like as much as you want quality friends you need to work on being a quality friend yourself and i think being a quality friend involves a lot of knowing people knowing what their limits are knowing what to say what not to say what to do what not to do spending that time to really understand the individual as opposed to you just having your demands of what you want in a friendship and being like this one wanting a friend this one wanting a friend and just like taking a step back and being like okay cool this is what i want in a friend but please tell me what you would like in a friend please tell me where i've faulted tell me the things yeah guys like don't take lightly the kind of people that you invite into your life because um if your friends are up to no good trust just finish my eye makeup and then i'll come back random but do you know the funny thing that i saw this week or last week on twitter i think yeah someone mentioning i had a tweet up and they were like yeah, you definitely do align with the brand and you align with the brand but the reason why you aren't booking campaigns is because you don't live in a Bourbon property <laughs> and you don't have a grey couch. <laughs> I don't know. I think it is so funny. Of all the things to say and of all the things to do, you are dragging influences for where they stay and for the kind of couches that they have. There are so many opportunities to literally drag brands and to call them out on behavior that is not right those are the kind of things that you can rally behind and you don't when your voice actually counts when you're supposed to be speaking out on things you don't but at the first opportunity to take a jab at influences for where they stay or whatever or for them getting gigs whereas maybe you aren't getting them in that time now you want to come step in and say something like it's so like it's it just gives off you know, like bad vibes it gives off like literally a bad aura because if there's one thing i've learned in my time trying to be an influencer in the short amount of time when you are ready and when the time is right whatever you wish to happen will happen All i keep reminding myself is my time will come my time will come and when it does come i really hope that i'm i'm ready for it because like, i know there's a lot that's gonna come for me personally and i think this is kind of a nice note to end things on i know that there's a lot that is in store i know that there's a lot that's still gonna come to me i know there's a lot of doors that are still going to be opened a lot of collaborations that are gonna come there are gonna be influences that i'm gonna be working with that i'm gonna be partnering with there are brands that i'm gonna collab with all of these things are gonna come and i know and i can feel it in my soul in my body i can feel it i just hope that i'm ready and i am trying right now to do everything that i possibly can to be ready for it you know okay so i put on some glass and this is the final look you guys i literally love how this turned out it really did me so good like at the end of this video i feel so much lighter it was literally like a makeup therapy session like just sitting and talking with you guys it was it was really really just a delight i really hope you guys like kind of tap into who umbali or who kimberly is and what goes on in my life and what goes on in my mind yes you guys that's all i have for you today thank you so much for joining my chit chat get ready with me if you would like to see more videos of this kind please be sure to stay subscribed to my channel if you aren't subscribed to subscribe to my channel and then also to let me know what you would like to see in the upcoming videos thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys in my next video love and light to you and yours my babes